Hi everybody, welcome into my channel and thank you so much for tuning into this video today. You guys have been requesting the black squirrel, spirit animal, animal totem to do this video for you guys. So here I am getting the video done for you all. But before I get started on this creature, I really want to just make sure that you guys understand just a little bit of guidance first that when it comes to synchronicities, when it comes to um, animal totems in particular, you want to make sure that you are not taking something and exaggerating it. So what I mean when I say this is you got to make sure that this animal totem was actually a message for you, that it actually is that deep. Because sometimes we see an animal once, sometimes we just see an animal go by really quick, and it's a really quick message and a really quick um, guidance for us that's not that deep, it's not that, um, that significant inside of our lives. It's not something that we have to pay so much attention to, right? But now if you're seeing this black squirrel or any animal multiple times, then it's trying to get your attention. Then it's trying to tell you, hey, there's a message here that I have for you. Um, there's a guidance here on an intuitive level, on a metaphysical level. I'm coming through with my symbolism as this creature to tell you something, to help you change something, to help you on your path. So I'm just saying that just so you guys can understand that sometimes it's not that deep and it is an animal totem. Now you can see a black squirrel or any animal one time and it be an animal totem. And if you have good intuition or if you have heightened intuition, you're very in tune with your intuition, then you'll be able to know right off the bat anyway. But if you feel like you're not that connected with your intuition, like you need more strengthening in that area one of the things you can see is how was you the feeling of the animal when you saw it one time did it feel majestic did the encounter feel very eccentric very strange very hard to explain did it feel like a significant thing that occurred or did it just feel like an animal just passed by real quick or an animal just came next to you real quick or was it just something very different about this animal and your encounter with it? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the black squirrel animal totem. Now, when we're talking about the black squirrel, first we gotta talk about the squirrel first before we even talk about the fact that it's black. The color is giving it a different significance and a different meaning, but the squirrel overall, that needs to be understood. So when it comes to a squirrel coming into your life as a guidance for you. The squirrel is trying to tell you that now is the time for you to really plan for the future. It's time for you to collect data. It's time for you to collect resources. It's time for you to, to scavenger, to go around and to not be desperate. You don't want to be desperate, but you do want to go around and you want to collect resources. The squirrel can also be telling you that it is time for you to really look at your financial situation, look at your resources, and look at your the, the tools that you have inside of your toolbox and see if you need to add more. It's basically coming through to tell you that now is a time for you to really stock up on things that you may need so that way if there's a rainy day or that way if there's a time in the future you may be able to go into what it is that you have gathered right because when we look at the squirrel we're looking at a creature that spends a lot of its time gathering nuts gathering resources even if it has enough food to eat it continues to to get up and go work it continues to get up and go get food it continues to get up and go um, make plans figure out how it's going to get its next um, resource it continues to just keep going on saving and saving and saving and another thing the squirrel does is it actually comes through and it will dig different holes and it will bury all of its resources in there so it's not eating it right away the, the squirrel could literally have enough food for months and it will still be going for more food so this is a direct symbolism and a direct reflection to the person that it's trying to guide to tell you that when it comes to 
whatever it is that you're experiencing or whatever it is that the squirrel is pointing to in your life to make sure that you are saving your energy saving your resources saving your time um, just making sure that you are being very wise when it comes to your decision making making sure that you have a plan a making sure that you have a plan b c d all the way to z because it it's it's all about preparation so it's telling you to make sure that you're prepared for the future to make sure that you're prepared for for a rainy day or prepared for what may occur now when i say this i also want to tell you guys just because when it comes to the animal totem videos that i've made and I go through the comments, because I get comments every single day, and when I go through the comments, the, there's so many beautiful comments in there that I'm so grateful for, it, truly. And there are also comments that make me, um, you know, just understand the audience more. And I can understand that some of my audience very frequently are running off of a, a fear-based um, place sometimes okay so just make sure that when you are processing this information with animal totems that you're not going off of a place that's based off of fear you're not going off of a place that's based off of um, obsession or desperation to find the answer make sure that you guys are receptive to the message make sure that you guys are receptive to to the guidance that's inside of your actual life, not just my video, but re make sure that you're receptive to the guidance that's happening for you inside of your actual life. Because sometimes we cannot control what the outcome is gonna be. And we cannot control what the answer is. If we don't know how that squirrel was trying to send us a message or what it was pointing towards inside of our life, obsessing over it isn't going to help and being scared oh my gosh what does this mean oh my gosh I'm so scared I actually have people that say I'm scared what does it mean I hope this doesn't mean anything bad well there shouldn't be an assumption that it's gonna be anything bad unless it's coming from a fear based place and when it's coming from a fear based place you want to make sure that you take time to step back heal yourself align yourself get yourself back into balance before trying to take any spiritual guidance whether it's animal totems, whether it's um, um, any mentor, whether it's just random messages online, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you are balanced first because if you go from a place of fear, you can really get yourself caught up in a, in a cycle that doesn't really bring upon achievement because with desperation, it, you truly can go to the point where it creates failure. All right, maybe I'll talk about that in a different video, but it's just to make sure that you guys understand this because with the squirrel animal totem, it is telling you to be a little bit obsessive over um, over the resources that you have. Make sure that you're gathering things to save for the future, but it doesn't mean that something bad is going to happen to you in the future at all. So don't feed into the negative thoughts. Don't feed into the negative energy really feed into the positive energy I'm speaking up louder just in case the wind is too noisy but really feed into feed into the love come from a place of love right so with the black squirrel you guys it's also talking about um, excuse me my lip made a sound there it's also talking about your ability to solve problems your ability to find solutions but it's coming to tell you that there is a change that needs to occur in the way that you are solving problems, the way that you are coming to solutions inside of your life. Like you could be coming to solutions inside of your life the wrong way. And when the squirrel is saying this, it's really pointing towards your ability to make sure that you are thinking twice before you do things, to make sure that you're a little bit patient, to make sure that you gather a lot of information gather a lot of resources before you actually step forward to proceed with what it is that you're doing make sure that you don't spend all the things that you just gathered all at once 
be very methodical in the way that you approach the the problems inside of your life focus on solutions as opposed to the problems focus on what is working in your life as opposed to what's not working once you identify what isn't working then go ahead and see okay well how can I make this work even if you don't have an answer for how you can make it work you can at least go as far as saying how would this work out imagine a best case scenario or the most ideal case scenario just imagine that situation being worked out okay so the scroll is coming through to tell you all about these things about financial gains and also making sure that you're saving your money saving your resources put your money away and put it to yourself invest in yourself invest in your family invest in your home invest in your projects invest in your creations um and 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 also just invest in it in a way where it's being saved and it's not being wasted okay um now when we put bl the color black with the squirrel it really is coming through to signify endings to signify uh, end of a cycle more in particular with this black squirrel it's signifying an end of a cycle and it's also signifying uh, an ending and a changing in the way that you go about planning for the future so you may have an experience with a black squirrel depending on how intense your experience was or depending on how you know significant this black squirrel was the message for you is trying to tell you that you're going to go through an experience where you're going to learn the right way to to approach a situation and the wrong way to approach the situation and that you will not go back after that you guys I'm saying this off of personal experience with a black squirrel before I went to my trip on Gambia, which I didn't prepare, I thought I was prepared, I wasn't prepared enough. Um, there was a lot of experiences in Gambia that was just, it wasn't the greatest experience. It wasn't because of the country, it was because of my karma. It was because of my own personal experience. Nothing against Gambia, it's a beautiful country. Um, but because of my personal experiences, um, there was a lot of endings that took place. There was a lot of um, letting go of things that do not serve me, letting go of habits that don't serve me, making sure that I plan for the future much better, making sure that I um, think things through before accepting people, before accepting situations and circumstances into my life, before trusting everything, right? And before I went to Gambia, I saw a black squirrel and the black squirrel followed me. And the, the experience I had with the black squirrel, it was like everywhere I went, it followed me in the car. Everywhere I parked, it followed me. And it was just, it was a clear message. And it was the day that I was going to get my Gambian visa in order to go ahead and, you know, plan for this trip and go and get to Gambia. So when you see a black squirrel, and that was my first time seeing a black squirrel. I didn't even know they existed. When you see a black squirrel, it is coming through with all the messages of a squirrel. But it, on top of that, it's telling you that this is the end of a cycle. And it's actually a very positive thing. Now, you may be experiencing some negative experiences, quote unquote negative experiences. I'm just going to say it's more challenging experiences in life because it depends on your ability to your ability to handle and your response to those negative or challenging situations that's what makes it more negative that's what makes it more challenging but when it comes down to you know the the positive about this the light about this is the fact that you're going to figure out a new way of doing things. You're gonna figure out, you're gonna grow and you're gonna gain wisdom on how to better plan for your future before that winter comes, before that moment where the squirrels don't have any nuts at all. 
They just don't got nuts like that. They don't have foods like that. They don't have resources like that. And they have done everything that they needed to do to make sure that they're prepared for the winter. They're prepared for the stormy day. They're prepared for a day where there might not be as much resource. So once again, you guys, make sure that when you take upon this message and if this is resonating with you, make sure that it is you're doing things not from a place of desperation. You don't want to do it from a place of desperation. You want to make sure that it's very constructive. You also don't want to um, try to solve problems or try to um, come up with different plans and, and, uh, and gather information or resources or save money based off of a place of lack thereof from in you or based off of a place of um, desperation, lack of what's in you or fear. You want to do it from a place of love because you love yourself so much, because you know your worth, because you know that you deserve more, right? Because you know that you have all it is that you need inside of you already. It already exists inside of you. So you're not necessarily desperate, but you're just securing yourself. And you're just playing along in this physical realm with the things that you have to do. So yeah, seeing a black squirrel is a very beautiful sign. It's coming forth to tell you end of a cycle. It's coming forth to tell you that there's an opportunity to actually learn a new way of solving problems, a new way of better planning. And it's actually going to make you more mature. It's actually going to give you more intellect. It's going to make you more smart, a little bit more witty. Because the squirrel is very witty. Even the squirrel itself sometimes connects with air element because it's in the trees, you know, and it also flies. You have the flying squirrels as well. Um, it can drop from really high um, places and land on its feet still. So it's really telling you to be flexible as well because the squirrels are very flexible when you see them spread out. It's also telling you to be flexible in, in the way that you approach planning to make sure that you're smart with your planning, to make sure that you are stacking up, saving up, and just using your wisdom when it comes to this, okay? Um, with the black squirrel, you are approaching an end of a cycle. It could be a beginning to an end of a cycle. I just wanna make that clear as well, because sometimes when people think endings, they think it's the ending now. But with black, it could be the beginning of an ending because the ending is still a whole phase itself. And black can say that you've reached the beginning of the ending. You're at um, angel number nine. You're at the numerological number nine, which is just the ending phase, as opposed to you've reached the end. You're in the end cycle, but it could also just represent a beginning to an end of a cycle. Okay, so yes, you guys, I really hope that this video was able to help you understand the meaning for the black squirrel. Um, I hope that you guys definitely um, enjoyed watching it. I know I enjoyed explaining it to you guys and sharing my story and just sharing what it is that I have to offer for you. If you guys are interested in getting a personal reading with me when it comes to love, career, um, finances when it comes to general reading spiritual guidance of all sorts check out the link in the description box below I also have handmade crystal pendants there and I also have all organic um, teas blend or organic tea blends for you guys inside of the description box below as well as let's see if you are interested in donating into blooming woman LLC I would greatly appreciate it. The information for my Cash App and PayPal is inside of the description box below as well. And all my social media outlets. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all inside of the next video. Like, subscribe, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.